makes me a little concerned since, you know, it's my first year of college. And then there's, you know, administration telling you that you're supposed to, like, feel safe here on campus. Meantime, UTIP students are feeling uneasy after the massacre at the Oregon Community College. It leaves 10 people dead and several injured. CBS 4 attends Courtney Shoneman shows us UTIP's security plan and how students feel about it. Courtney is live at the UTIP campus with continuing team coverage. UTEP administrators are confident in the emergency alert system they already have in place. They say messages can be sent directly to smartphones or broadcast over a speaker system across the entire campus. I spoke to one freshman student who's heard about this alert system but still has some concerns. And then there's, you know, administration telling you that you're supposed to, like, feel safe here on campus. And if anything, if you don't feel safe or you feel like something's going wrong, to notify somebody. And it's just like, Sometimes things are out of your control and you can't really, you know, do anything about it. Umqua Community College is the fourth campus shooting since August and the deadliest since the 2007 Virginia Tech shooting that killed 32. This, paired with knowing Texas's campus carry bill will soon take effect, has UTEP students on edge. Here on campus, you should not feel threatened or feel the need to carry a gun. You're here to, you know, learn and be educated not to, you know go on a shooting rampage. UTEP's Vice President of Student Affairs Gary Eden says a campus carry task force is working on procedures for when the bill takes effect on August 1st, 10 months from today. We do have the ability right now to identify exclusion zones. We're debating those exclusion zones now to figure out where students can and cannot take in, uh, uh, concealed weapons. Malia Green remembers learning about the emergency alert system at freshman orientation. Like there's emergency little stands where you just push a red button and if the, anything on campus is happening you just push it and campus will be supposed to come like right away and then of course they have the alert systems for our phones. But junior UTEP student Damian Andrade feels uninformed and would like the university to hold another drill. A workshop or something available for students to go to uh, for faculty and staff of course so they know how to like evacuate people from a building and all of that. I'm sure staff probably they have some sort of training. UTEP administrators conducted an active shooter training exercise back in August. They tell me it's too soon to tell if today's community college massacre will prompt any changes to the current security procedures that are already in place. Reporting live from the UTEP campus, Courtney Shoneman, CBS 4 at 10.